subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. iPhone 10 versus Galaxy S9 Plus versus Google Pixel 2 XL versus Huawei P20 Pro. These are some of the fastest flagships you can buy right now in 2018 and two of them have AI chips that be in the Kirin 970 and an A11 Bionic on the Apple device and we have a Snapdragon 835 for Pixel 2, Snapdragon 845 for Samsung S9 Plus. Let's begin the boot up with the iPhone 10 and you can see the iPhone 10 finishes at 19.79 which is a pretty fast boot up here. I mean you don't got 19 seconds. Let's go on to the Galaxy S9 Plus and see how fast this one can finish and I speed this up as well and you can see this finishes at not too much far behind 21.62 seconds so very fast there on the Galaxy S9 Plus but the Pixel 2 XL has proven to be quite a champ in the boot up round and it doesn't disappoint here with 13.65 on its boot up and going on to the Huawei P20 Pro Huawei's newest best flagship you can buy this one finishes at a little bit slower than all of them at 23 0.65 so the Huawei P20 Pro a little bit behind but not too much so it's not a big deal I mean how often do you really boot up your phone anyway and these are very fast speeds on all of them but the Pixel 2 XL hands down the fastest booting phone you can buy right now let's talk a little bit about their facial recognition the iPhone 10 is a two-step process face ID does get better the more you use it and it is very accurate but sometimes people miss over here on the Galaxy S9 Plus we have facial recognition this one requires you to be looking directly at it because sometimes this will miss too but it is faster than the iPhone 10 because it doesn't have a two-step process the Pixel 2 XL just like the iPhone 10 slower than the Galaxy S9 plus requires a two-step process you do have to look at the front camera and then it will unlock from the bottom up you just swipe up so pixel 2 xl kind of like the iphone 10 in this regard just not as secure as that device now the huawei p20 pro is a very fast facial recognition all you have to do is look at the phone it reminds me a lot of the oneplus 5t and this thing is so fast that you don't even have to you know it bypasses the lock screen and it goes right in so the huawei p20 pro hands down the fastest face unlock by far amongst all of these phones so if you care about getting your phone fast the huawei p20 pro is for you let's begin with a speed test on the iphone 10 and i'm speeding through this but you can see the iphone 10 is having some pretty great performance so far that gesture based ui actually makes it feel a little faster than actually having to hit the physical home button on touch id but the games is where really the iphone start to shine and you can see just how fast it's going through these games and the iphone 10 finishes at 51.70 give or take I might have missed the tap a little bit around 51 seconds here for the iPhone 10 getting on to the Galaxy S9 plus Snapdragon 845 6 gigs of RAM this is a monster phone right here let's go into Instagram and you could see that we're gonna speed through this again because we would be here all day if we looked at every one of these phones but Chrome Lightroom everything's opening pretty quick and you could see a little bit of a twitch there when opening games it doesn't look as fluid as the iPhone but it's still a very fast device Geekbench and speed test and you could see the Samsung finishes at 50.16 so faster then the iPhone 10 on this single round of applications. Going on to the Google Pixel 2 XL, you can see everything is closed out. And the Pixel 2 XL has extremely fast animations, as you can see right here. Same speed, we're speeding through it, and you can see it's just very quick to open these applications in terms of that animation. A lot like the OnePlus 5T, in my opinion. So the Google Pixel 2 XL on this single round finishes at 47.64, so faster than both iPhone 10 and Galaxy S9 Plus on the single round. So let's go into the Huawei P20 Pro now. This is the one we really wanna see here. Six gigs of RAM, Kirin 970, and you can see opening similar amount of apps here. This one is very fast as well and we're closing in on the games where the game's a little bit slow on the huawei p20 pro in comparison to the others which slowed the score down just a little bit especially on the more heavier game like dead trigger and then we got into the speed test and this finishes at 55.46 so the slowest of the bunch here when it comes to the single round of application speed and the google pixel 2 xl hands down wins the first round now we're going to quickly just look at the multitasking just to see how they perform in reloading these applications and the iphone 10 
is perfect, spot on. There wasn't one reload, just perfect performance there for the iPhone 10. Now the Galaxy S9 Plus, a little bit slower when it comes to that animation when reopening applications, not as fluid as the iPhone 10, but I would say just about even. It's just slightly behind when it comes to that fluidity. I mean, just very slightly. Now the Google Pixel 2 XL, this is where it chokes a little bit with its four gigs of RAM. It has to reload some applications. And if you have a lot open on the Pixel 2 XL, it will reload some things. So Pixel 2 XL is not the best multitasker here, even though it was probably the fastest when it comes to opening the first round of apps due to its animations. Now the Huawei P20 Pro was actually more fluid than the Galaxy S9 Plus and the Pixel 2 XL when it comes to the multitasking, almost perfect like the iPhone 10. So the P20 Pro is a very impressive RAM management phone. So if you do wanna do some multitasking on your phone, you want the iPhone 10 or the P20 Pro. They both feel very fluid, very similarly fluid when doing such things. Now, the iPhone 10 just obliterates the Android competition when it comes to its Geekbench score. I mean, we're talking massively larger scores on the iPhone 10, like MacBook level. The Galaxy S9 Plus gets close, but the Pixel 2 XL and the P20 Pro are a little bit behind as they are utilizing last year's processors. Now, let's get into the speedtest.net score and you could see that they all did very well here. Actually, very similar. It is the same network, but you know, this depends on your network. But I see that the Pixel 2 XL is doing the best here of all of them. The P20 Pro and the S9 Plus going head to head. And the iPhone 10 a little bit good as well compared to the rest of them. So Pixel 2 XL and iPhone 10 there. Now, if you do pick up one of these, which one is the fastest phone? I think for most power, you know, for the longest term, probably the iPhone 10 out of all of these. On paper, it has the fastest processor. It doesn't have as much RAM. So multitasking, you might want to look at the P20 Pro or the S9 Plus. Now the Pixel 2 XL is very fluid, has fast animations in the day to day, but I think you would wanna pick the P20 Pro or the iPhone 10 if you want a better long-term multitasking experience, they're gonna be great. But I think the most well-rounded and fastest feeling phone, if you're only gonna keep the phone for a couple years, on the day to day right now is the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. This phone feels very well-rounded and opening on the single core speeds and even on the multi-core. So the S9 Plus to me is the fastest feeling phone on the day to day right now. It's fluid for an Android phone. It's very fast. It's faster than iPhone 10 when it comes to just how fast the applications look to open but they're all very fast. You can't go wrong with any of them. Do you agree with